All right, Thursday night chili coleslaw dogs. You know what's funny is my original hot dog idea that I had this morning around 10 a.m. was uh, was totally different. It had to do with pepperoni and American cheese, and it's gonna be another hot dog meal that I'm gonna do probably the next time I do uh, hot dogs. Hello, Christy. Oh, so, hello, Christy. Hey, girl. I, I went to the store tonight and I picked up what I needed for the original idea. And then I saw coleslaw, and I figured coleslaw on top of chili would probably be really good. It's almost like a, uh, cause it's like sauerkraut, pretty yeah, much, Yeah, kind right? of, yeah. So this should be, uh, this should be I good. I don't see it being bad. And then I, I messed up. I put six buns down and only cooked five hot dogs. So if you saw the <laughs> video tonight, I'm doing the, I'm doing the clippers, and I'm putting the hot dogs, and I'm like, wait, where's the other hot dog? I had to take a bun out. Not worried about it. Not worried about it at all, because I, I, my ankles are swollen so bad that my appetite is... I would be surprised if I, if I finished three of these. Really? Yeah. My ankles feel... And I don't want to take ibuprofen. Hello, uh, Deidre. Oh, hello, Deidre. How are you, girl? I don't want to take ibuprofen anymore at all. I haven't taken ibuprofen in probably about a week and a half, and I just don't. I want to stay away from uh, any kind of medication medication going forward. So, but yeah, it feels like I don't know. It, it feels like I got an allergic reaction to something. Hey, Annette. But yeah, they're both swollen. Hey, Annette. Oh, girl. Uh, cat. She's gonna explain to you why she's got a little plate of pasta yeah and then uh she'll tell you what what it is okay so i have shrimp carbonara um with alfredo sauce and there's tortellinis bacon and i didn't realize there was peas in there i don't really like peas but um one of my bosses um had a 10 year anniversary for being with the company so then one of his gifts was him having, you know, a dinner on the company with five people of his choosing. I happen to be one of them. So we went to the seafood place. So I don't like seafood except for shrimp. So that's why I got that. So Looks I like had Alfredo sauce. There is Alfredo sauce. It's carbonara. It's Alfredo bacon and peas. I didn't realize there was peas in there, but oh well. Was was there an appetizer given? Um, no, I got um Italian wedding soup. They didn't give bread or anything. Oh yeah, there was garlic bread. I've been to this I ate place a bunch of garlic bread. <laughs> I've been to this place one time. Me and my brother took my mom to this place and years ago before I think before cat. Actually it was before It was, it was before way me. before cat. We, me and my brother took my mom to this place for her Mother's Day or her birthday. And um, they loaded us with this bread. I remember it being the best garlic bread ever. We just Kept on eating, pounding, and that was that was the last time I ever went the to that. Garlic place. bread is like the killer. Oh, yeah, I mean, that garlic bread is so damn good. And I, you know, took some of the garlic bread and I started dipping it in my soup, and I was like, oh. So by the time my meal came, uh, I just kind of like picked at my meal because I was so full just because I ate so much damn garlic bread. Don't wait for me. Okay. Because like I said, I don't know. I am always gonna be very. Uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you when something is going on with me and I am not in the mood and this pain that I've got going on has just had me cranky all day long. Oh, hey Abby. Abby, did I say hello to you? I, I did didn't even hello. see her in here. I just saw somebody say hey Abby. This, my the way my ankles are right now is times that by five about my leg, my leg, how my leg pain's been going. Thought you were going to say you went to all you could eat sushi. <laughs> That's on my list to do. Well, I've had a cake on Father's Day. The man wanted pizza, <laughs> and I regret doing it because the pizza I ordered was horrible. It wasn't good. Went to, we, I didn't go to my normal place. I went to a, a another place, and it just they are they are they're going down real quick. It's almost like <laughs> they got cement on the bottom of the thing. Uh, give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay. Tell them about your dinner, it's whatever you want to talk about. Okay. So the dinner was fun. Like, you know, it was just like 
we literally talk about work, but, you know, what else are we going to have to talk about other than work? But we, we talked about, like, some really funny things that, you know, we all dealt with on a daily basis. I don't know about you guys, but if someone from work invites me to go to a dinner, I don't care if it's on the house. I'm not going. I see them enough at work. What the hell would I want to go see them outside well, of work? You really don't see them a lot because... Well, for what I do, but I'm just saying, if I did see somebody all day, I'd die. The last thing I would want to do is leave work, go home, shower, and then go out to dinner with four of them. So, but that's just me. Everybody's different. Remember when Carrie is sneaking to work? And she's, she puts her, her gym clothes over <laughs> her exercise clothes. And Doug's flipping out. It's like, what? Because he doesn't understand. I guess that's... That's my whole thing. I've worked with some of these people for like seven years. Mm. So, three of the people that went tonight, I worked with them for seven years. <laughs> so, you know, work with somebody long enough, you know, you develop a friendship. Yeah. Or you develop a hatred for them. Oh. <laughs> I haven't, there know. are certain people that I don't like. <laughs> I remember one of my... One of my first real, real jobs, I wound up getting close to this one guy, and then not, it didn't take long before I realized he was a scumbag guy. Like, just, it's like you just need to hear one one bad story or one how, how he deals with how someone deals with something one time, and it changes your whole opinion on somebody. And I remember that, and then it went from talking, talking, talking to me just trying to ignore him any way I could. He got the point. He got the point real quick because. <laughs> Like I said, if you if you're used to talking to somebody on a constant basis, and then all of a sudden you just stop, and you're very short with them or or her, you know they they get the picture real quick. So I'm gonna go on TikTok, okay. and then we're gonna get going and hopefully get a good night's sleep, and then enjoy a nice three day weekend. Which well, you get a three day weekend. I'm get, I, don't. I get a three day weekend. I don't get a three-day weekend. I get a normal weekend. Sugar, cook sugar cookies and baby M&M's is going to happen tomorrow. I'm making them, too. I don't want the homemade cookie dough. Not tomorrow. I have a feeling. Because how long have I been talking about these sugar cookies with baby M&M's? Two yeah. weeks in a row, and it, it didn't happen both weeks. <laughs> Annette, what would you eat for dinner tonight? And out of a 1 to a 10, how do you think I'm going to like these these chili coleslaw dogs? Oh no, Annette, I'm not working on Monday, but I'm going to throw you in. I got to work on Saturday. Hello, Marie. I got to work Saturday, so I'm off Sunday and Monday. Then go back on Tuesday. But I've got a three day weekend like Jamie does. I'm jealous. Did we get up late this morning? No. We didn't. That was the other day. That's right. That was Tuesday. John, you a chili guy? Chili dog guy? I always put cheese on. Oh, come on, I always put cheese on my on my hot dogs or whatever my dinner is. And no cheese tonight, <clears throat> but I do have Cheetos. Marie, how are you doing tonight? What's cracking? What's shaking? Anything fun and exciting going on for you this weekend? Alright. Two down. You like cheese on chili too? Any way I could get it? Yeah, I love cheese on chili. Yeah, well, this is my first time replacing cheese with coleslaw, so I'm hoping for a banger. I think it'll be good. How come you're on house arrest? I'm not. What makes you think I'm on house arrest? Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Roman Candle Fights? What's up, Nacho Man Ranchy? Hello, Nacho Man. Hello, Glitter Angel. You rate my dogs 10 out of 10. I've had chili and coleslaw too. This is my first time doing this. I ate chicken quesadilla and some chips and guac. Nice. I love chips and guac. Uh, LOL, I thought you had an ankle monitor. Monitor, brother, my bad. It's okay. I have an ankle accessory. That's just a fashion thing. Uh, uh, the bandana around the ankle. It's not a bandana. I make these things. People well, jump to conclusions. <laughs> here's the deal. Uh, did you watch that AEW 
match last night. It was good. I didn't like the ending, though. The ma oh, the blood and guts? I wasn't crazy about it. <clears throat> um, here's the thing with the whole ankle thing. Me being on house arrest. Give you guys the scoop for those of you that are in here right now. Everybody thinks I did something bad and I'm not allowed to go out. <laughs> not the case. <laughs> I wore a bandana around my ankle for a, a video that went viral and then everybody just ran with it and said, oh my god, he's on house arrest and he's he's living his life. And then I, Hello, turned, I turned the what's around my ankle into a fashion thing. I started matching my headbands because I make my own headbands. Hi, Molly. And I just, I come up with little stories with for the people that like to troll me uh, with the whole ankle, you know, being on house arrest. <laughs> Maybe it's five more dogs. Hi, friends. Hello. The queen and the king of food. They rock out. Thank you very much. What's up, Matt? Hey, Matt. Oh, thank you, Joy. My favorite people. What's up? Hello, Dodge. Uh, how do I get out of the funk? What funk are you in? Hello from Wisconsin. Hello. What kind of funk are you in? Meaning, like, can't get back to things like can't get back into exercise or dieting oh hello pam hi guys haven't caught you in a long time how are you bro what's, what's up i'm gonna hold a napkin because i think i'm gonna get it all over the beard hello Cortland. you probably will hello court how's it going man wow these are good hello tom hello mel from hawaii mel from hawaii oh I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> I want to be in Hawaii. Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Larray, Virginia was running and eating right Hello, Nicole. daily. And I, can you finish Hello. that for me? Because it went by pretty quick. I was running and eating right daily and, and still my progress in five days. You got to retype that, brother. Yeah, I don't understand that. If you're looking for instant progress after a week, it's, that's hard to come by. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You're my favorite TikToker. I love your videos. Thank you very much, Drew. I lost in my progress in five days. It takes more than a week to screw up what you're doing. Unless you're a bodybuilder, right? Or unless you have a certain body and you're constantly eating clean and then you start eating junk food, yeah, your body's going to react and look a lot different the next day you're gonna be bloated and you're just not gonna feel good um, when it comes into getting into a funk where you start to lose faith in what you're doing you just got to remember the big picture you didn't gain weight overnight you're not gonna you're not gonna lose it overnight hello KK from Cali <sighs> yeah no that nothing ever happens overnight it doesn't happen overnight and you know what people like think things like I'm going to exercise one day. I want to see these results. It's not going to happen like that. Because you're going to feel. Uh, hair products you use. Me? I don't put nothing in my hair. Oh, thank you, sexy Nana. I'm a dirty bird. I, uh, when it comes to my hair, I, I, wash my, I don't wash my hair much. I wash my hair like every other day now. But I condition it every single day because I have to. Because if I don't, it'll freaking fly everywhere. Thank you, the doll. Uh, I don't know what MMA fights are on this weekend. Me and Kat used to watch it. Yeah, we used to watch it all the time. We used to go, we used to like buy all the pay-per-views and everything. Uh, yeah. We haven't watched it in a while. Hot dog. I don't know, Steph. I'm doing hot dogs tonight, so probably not this weekend. Jamie, Jamie. Hello, Mr. Jimmy Jim. The lies must stop. We're on to you, broham. It all started with the swipe of your first slice. So now you're out of control. You run up and down the trails, swiping slices when we you can. can. The addiction <laughs> is real. <laughs> you know what I just pictured, Jimmy Jam? Like that game. That one game where like you have to run around and like grab all the blocks to like create steps. I can picture like Jamie running all over the place collecting pizza slices. <laughs> That's what I just envisioned. I saw a piece of pizza on my run tonight, just chilling in the grass. Someone I guess got sick of it and threw it out their window. Oh or was... thank you. Or was walking, I'm like, I've had enough and just dropped it. <coughs> Hi, Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Uh, you have to condition your hair every day, too? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, there's a reason why I don't I put. Have to because otherwise it's like straw. Yeah, well, there's a reason. I my hair does not get volume at all when I wash it. So what I do is I I let it get wet like four times a week, but for the most part, it goes up in a bun and it and I keep it. Um, uh, I keep it dry when I go in the shower, and I I don't stink. It's not like I, I smell. Once I start to stink, then I then it's time to wash it. <laughs> Because yeah. I can't sleep stinky. And I'm not a stinky person. No, he's not a stinky person. Jimmy likes to smell good. Even if, like, I'm going to sleep by myself, right? I'm not going to be able to sleep if I smell. I don't, un I don't understand how your videos don't Just blow up more. more. They are so well put together. Good work. I appreciate that, Drew. I don't know. Some of the videos do good. Be beast. <laughs> do you mean me? Some of my videos do good, some of them don't. I don't do I don't do the hashtags or anything like that. That probably would help. Hmm. Chili dogs look good. I did a different t uh, allergies. I did a different yeah. kind of. You okay, bud? You all right? I did a different kind of video tonight where I did more of close-up action and more food, less me. Um, maybe I'll explain to you over the weekend why, but, um, your double cup looks good. Thank you. Jamie, I'll talk about hair with you later. My hair looks fire. The ladies are loving it. Yeah, what ladies are you seeing? Christina. That's Lady. Oh, candy cane. Christina too, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm sure she's loving your hair. Jimmy Jam going down to the local the, Kroger. The last time Jimmy Jam showed me his hair, it was long, so I'm sure it's long now. I bet it is. Like he a longer now. He said Christina too, I guess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can I have your cup, please? No. What would I be drinking out of if I gave you my beautiful double mug? Tell him Uncle said Uncle Ted said quiet on the set. <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Ted's a quiet on set, kids. Uh, does your child use it in no. no, 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 it's just allergies, and everybody's he, he got. He literally a cough. has allergies, and he's coughing and coughing, and so am I. Me as well. I'm coughing and sneezing and like ridiculous. Hey, rates. Kelly. Oh, hello, Kelly. Oh. You know, sometimes I do give them like um, Zyrtec, but their allergies haven't been that bad all summer. Like all spring and whatnot, so I didn't feel the need. All of a sudden, he coughs like that. Yeah. How many miles are you running since the injury? I had two more chicka. <laughs> you know what, Tracy? It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. I did my full run tonight, but last night I did three. A little over three. It seems like because my I'm not getting better as quick as I usually get <laughs> excuse me get better um I'm I'm you know I'm trying different things if I you know sometimes some nights I no, no matter how I'm feeling I get a good sweat pumping right away and I just don't want to be bothered I don't care about the pain I'm in a I'm in a very comfortable mood when running and I don't want to be bothered and I'm just gonna forget how, however I'm feeling and I'll and I'll go through it. That's kind of how it was tonight. My I, my ankles are swollen uh, really bad. Hello, MB. Hello, MB. How are you, girl? Hello, Ruthie. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, girl. Uh, what am I eating? Well, I'll wait till Jamie finishes. Jamie was talking. I'll wait. What? You were talking. I forgot what I was going to say. Something about my ankles. But tonight I had a very good run and I was hurt. But I kind of ignored it, and you know, I was in the zone. Go ahead, Gaggy. So, I have shrimp carbonara, which is basically Alfredo sauce with bacon and peas, and then um, some Alfredo so um, tortellinis. Tortellinis. You heard that, Tom? I didn't hear that. But then again, I don't watch the news, so I don't know. By the way, I saw the stream the other day. I left because I wasn't feeling well, but I want to go with the fake narrative that I made a dramatic exit. 
I see Peter Piper has been swinging his, his pecker, pecker but, but shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Magically, he's not here tonight, Mr. Jim. Yeah, Jimmy, I thought you I thought you were upset that I didn't do the pineapple for him. No. Oh, thank you, Marissa. He's like, screw these people. That's right, screw us. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get screwed. Usually. Why uh, not let it be us? Is there gonna be? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Not shut right the grinds. Oh, I'm not sorry. Got grinds. Go dads. I'll tell you this. I went to um, uh, a 7-Eleven uh, like when I got Ooh. off of work to get I his. Just a pee down my shirt. To get his zero calorie Gatorade. There, there were their vitamin water, their Gatorades, their energy drinks, quite clean. Mm -hmm. That's how it was yesterday. Do you prep for the future or just buy for the week? We shop every night. The doll said it's a fabulous headband. Thank you. Very plain. One fabric tonight, and this is the one I did half and half uh, Monday, I think, with the green. Uh, guys, I've been, because of what's going on, and we, and we got some other things going on. Just not in the most, like I, I didn't come home and relax. I came home and, and, and went straight to, straight to making the headband and then I finished the headband and I did the ankle thing and then from the ankle thing, I went for my run. Jamie, AEW and Blood and Guts, I'll give it a 9.3 out of 10. Oh, thank you, Joadster. You liked it, Jimmy? Thank you, yeah. Appreciate it. What'd she say? Or he said? Your hair and Joadster said. Oh, Joadster. Your hair and makeup look very nice. You always look beautiful. And I said thank you. Yeah, Khaki cleans up pretty well. You, she doesn't do makeup a lot on here. Um, I felt weird wearing. Them. I felt weird when. Yeah, well, I think I think that was a lot of people, Tom. You're used to making all these funny too. faces when you were in the mask. That was me too, because now I don't wear a mask, and sometimes I find myself like making a face at somebody, and I really don't even intend to like make that face, but I forget that I'm not wearing a mask. <laughs> Jimmy Jam, that's pretty damn. That's a high rating. I don't know if I was that crazy about it. Then again, there was a oh, lot of guys Laura. on the shows that, that I'm not on the show that I'm not a, not too keen on, so. Uh, is this the only meal you eat in a day? Normally, no. Um, however, today and yesterday I fasted all day. With the exception of a midnight snack. Thank hey, you, Princess, Princess Pansy. Pansy. This, this, this color gets, um, a lot of people like this color. It's like the blood orange with a little bit of baby blue in there, fused together. I like the green too, but I never thought that orange would somehow become one of my favorite colors. I was always a blue guy. But orange goes very well with your skin tone. Yes, well, I, I, but that's not why I like the color. Like I'm just saying it goes very well with your skin tone. Yeah. You should see the one I originally started working on. I gave up on it halfway. Why? I didn't like how, you guys want to see what I was originally working on? I saw something cool on the counter and gave up on it. I didn't it. like it. I, because I technically did two headbands tonight, and I stopped um, the first one because I'm like, I, I like songs, like music. I feel it. If I don't feel it, I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna go with it. So let me go get the headband. I'll, it's not done. Mm -hmm. And that orange is a great color on Jamie. Just because Jamie has like that like olive toned skin, and he gets like really nice and tan. Yeah. Right. So he can pull off an orange like that. I will look pale as hell if I put off an orange like that. I personally like the pink, like the hot pink. Ugh. Be right back. Talk about something. <laughs> okay. I have to do this. Can we see it? Yeah, Dawn, he's going to get it. You're finally able to get 900 calories down now. Good for you, girl. Yes, it works with his skin tone 100%, the doll. Mm-hmm. He has like that beautiful olive skin tone. 
He has, like, our son has this, has Jamie's, like, complexion, like, with his skin tone. And I'm so jealous of it because I don't have that. I'm freaking pasty white. And though I do get, like, slightly tan. Well, I can get, like, kind of tan, but, like, our daughter has, like, my skin tone. To where she's very fair skinned. So, oh, it is what it is. What's on the hot dogs? Um, chili and coleslaw. You know, it's like part of me covers, part of me covers my, 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 my things that might pop out. And then another big part of me covers my belly because of the weight I put on and it's uncomfortable. All right. So remember, this is not done. This, uh, oh, thank you, Dawn. It is beautiful. I love his tan. I'm um, so jealous of it. So here's the deal. This went from being straight up fabric, which you can see underneath. This is the back of it. And then I was going to do an NWO style, and then it turned into this, which I'm not a fan of. I didn't like it. I'll give you guys a close-up so you can see the colors. You can see some of the oranges in there. I just, I was not a fan of it. And I gave up on it, so. <sighs> olive skin. Yeah, you have like an olive tone to your skin, like that Italian tone. Oh, well. What, selling the headbands? Maybe one day. Maybe a headband sponsor thing will. Like, maybe I'll get sponsored by a headband company. Never know. We shall see. Uh, it meant your wife's tan is beautiful. Oh, well, thank oh. you, but I don't think I really look that tan, but thank you. You got makeup on to make you look tan? No, oh. I never put anything. I don't put anything on my face. Some highlight, but that's about it. Remember that stuff that streaks? I don't ever use like foundation or cover up or anything like that. Mm, Jamie merch. Yeah. Well, hopefully we'll have something by summer's end. Fireworks are not legal in New York City. No. Or in New York. Period. They're not legal, but people shoot them off all the time. And our the cops aren't going to be diligent trying to figure out who's shooting off fireworks. I honestly don't think that they give a crap. To be honest. Uh, oh, thank you, Dawn. Jamie, the headbands will sell on its own? Uh, yeah, I think they would. I don't think they would. Not all of them. <laughs> because... I don't know. I think if, if someone wants to buy it because I made it, then yes, the, the, then they w I think they would do okay. But I don't think, like, if you put my headbands in stores, they would go flying off the shelf. Do you have a sewing machine or do you sew by hand? Hot glue and stapler. <laughs> there you go, Annette. <laughs> it's a hot glue gun and a stapler. Guys, and this... one man and his envisions. <laughs> I'm a one-man band with a very big... Um, very big creative uh, floating space, right? And like I say, and you guys usually laugh and think I'm playing around. This whole set is held together by duct tape and batteries. I did all this work just being crafty. Like I am not. He is 100% serious. I'm being dead serious. <laughs> this this button that controls this light right here, duct tape. I got it everywhere. Do you want our duct tape bill? I bet you you don't. <laughs> no. Or I, I bet you. Do you want our battery bill? Because I, I bet you you don't. The battery bill is pretty. Is pretty. It's, it's actually kind of stupid how high the battery bill is. Another ankle mounted sort of thing. No, I'm just a man that likes to express myself with light colors. I like to put as much fabric on my body because as you can see I don't eat with a shirt on not comfortable I, I, plus I've been doing it for so long I don't think I don't think you could ever go back to like eating with a shirt on no like even in the cookie corner on the weekends it's, it feels weird and I always spill shit on my shirt oh uh, thank you Chloe you know what I mean mm -hmm. 
I every every time. Do you mow your own yard? Um. Why? Do you mow your lawn? Why do you ask? Mm -mm. Well, grass does grow, so it has to be cut. I used to. Hello, Noreen. By duct tape, yeah. That's a no. Oh, thank you, Hippie. Hippie Liv, thank you. We have a family friend, and uh, I can tell you the lawnmower story. Um, so it's weird. It's almost like a train. My brother works on pools. His friend has a pool. He does the pool opening, closing, the maintenance, and then our lawn gets taken care of. It's like a... His um, friend has a lawn business. Or he used to. It, so it's... It, that's how it used to be. I don't even know if that's the case anymore. Hey, Luke. Oh, thank you, Noreen. What's up, buddy? Oh, well, hello, Luke. How are you, man? Long time no talk, dude. I love duct tape, too. It solves it so solved. many problems. Yes, it does. I'm not good with tools. I'm not good with car maintenance or truck maintenance. Hey, Luke, you know that. <laughs> you know that. Um, the Jamie and Kathy show is brought to you by duct tape. I find, <laughs> I find fixing things and solving things is much more simpler um, with a little bit of hot glue, duct tape, and batteries. There you go, Court. What did Court say? Court said, bartering is the best. I cook for people, and then I get my house cleaned. Wonderful. There you go. Hell yeah. Jimmy rides on the lawnmower uh -huh. with his headband. Khaki loves it. Cheers, Khaki. Can you see me? Can you see me with Cheers, the, Kelly. On the stand-up well. lawnmower? I know. I just got back from South Carolina, Atlanta. Ugh, uh, last night, we just got home. Now I took my wife to go see a movie. What'd you go see? Did you take the kids to go see Sonic 2 oh, yet? Oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you, girl. Hey, Jamie and Kathy. Jamie, speaking of selling headbands and selling them, ever thought of trying to collab with someone that sells them? Like, like a, a Jamie V-line. Um, no, Sam, I don't think anybody wants to collab with me. That's I've already thing. reached out a couple of times to this one person, and she never responded. And it's somebody who I order from all the time. <sighs> Top Gun is awesome. Jurassic Park is okay, but way too long. I like Jurassic Park. I like Jurassic Park, too. You saw the black phone. I never even yeah. heard of that. Mm, me neither. I'm picturing you riding a push mower. Yeah, my aunt used to... We had so much... I say we like it was my home. Um, my aunt, her home when we lived in Georgia, she had so many acres that by the t And because she was old... Her. Well, she wasn't old back then. I don't know. I feel like she's been old my whole life, but that's just because it's this is how it is. Um, by the time she would finish for the day's work, and then she would continue the next day, by the time she finished the actual lawn, she had to start all over again. No, Sunday taking them to go see the minions. Yeah, we're, I think we might be doing I want to go see the minions this weekend, too. Remember, my boyfriend is a trademark attorney. Just putting it out there. Thank you, Court. I didn't forget. Me so neither. Whatever you create, his husband did. I, I create shit every day, and someone winds up taking it and doing a better job of it. You gotta trademark it, and then you could sue them. I, I if I if I'm gonna sue if I'm going to sue anybody, there's a guy that I have, Stephen P. News. Mm -hmm. I don't know who the hell that is. Got him through Jim Cornette. Okay. <laughs> he's like advert. He's like sponsored the show. He's here all the time. Oh. Stephen P. News. Stephen P. News. Call Stephen P. News if you want to sue. An oh, hello, cool. Aaron. Mud show for two. Hi guys. Truly had a Let's rough. the brink. Truly had a rough day. So happy to see you both. Oh, well, I'm bet I'm sad that you had a bad day, but. I'm glad you're here. Maybe we can make it better. Who said that? Aaron. Aaron, I, my day was kind of shitty too. Not my day, my night. So don't worry, we're in the same boat. Two peas in a pot, okay? Was uh, it scary? The, the, um, 
No suspense? Are you serious? For what? For what? Tom, you think there was no suspense in the Jurassic Park movie? There was suspense. Um. It scared the crap out of our son. <laughs> Jurassic Park, the new one? Yeah, he said there's no suspense. Him. It didn't scare the No, guy, but mm -hmm. there was one part that scared him. I know what he means. Meaning like a dinosaur kind of came out of nowhere and you weren't expecting it? Yeah. That shit didn't happen. He's right on that one. We were talking about the black phone. Oh, talking about the black phone. Not, okay. They're talking about black phone, not Jurassic Oh, Park. I thought you were talking about Jurassic Park. I was about to say, like, there's suspense in that movie. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, 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 uh. uh, it's a valid question. What's a valid What's question? What's a valid question? We go back to what they asked. Maybe we missed it. I missed a lot. Why would you <laughs> ask such a question? He's not a zoo animal. What? How many pounds of food per day do you eat? Oh, I don't know. I know how many calories I eat. Pounds? No, I don't know. Do I look like a zoo animal? <laughs> like, ooh, me, Jamie. Ooh, give me hot dog. Like, no, I don't go so banging easy on cages. Jamie can do it. <laughs> yeah. I could really be an animal and start kicking and stuff and throwing it at the camera. You you have, you've done that. Did you? The local TikToker takes shit while eating dinner and chucks it at the camera. <laughs> like those apes, like they do? Or like the, the apes when they get pissed off because people keep like asking like ridiculous good. things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. I would never do that. <laughs> Just saying. But it would be hilarious if you did. <laughs> good times. Yeah, very good times. <laughs> Um, that was my last bite of the hot dog. I bit into something kind of crunchy and it's not oh, smooth. Oh, I hate that. That totally ruined your meal. Yep. Happened to me at a dumpling at a Chinese place one time. Uh, Local TikToker drops perfectly good pizza on the floor trying to get the shot. <laughs> Came from court. <laughs> Alright, good night, buddy. It was good talking to you. <laughs> How long before a good wrestler night, or a celeb takes your headband and ankle bracelet idea? Uh, probably not long, John. I could see that happening within the next year. I'm already if waiting for it to happen. If it hasn't already happened yet and you just didn't know about I it. I have a lot of wrestlers, a lot of wrestling personnel that I didn't even know watching me, right? And then because of DMs and stuff like that. I just wasn't expecting it. So it's it's gonna happen eventually. Oh Tracy, that's gross, girl. Oh that, you know what? You ever bite into something crunchy and it just screws up the whole dinner? At least I had a couple hot dogs. You both are so calming, my anxiety is through the roof right now. Watching you calms me. Oh well, I'm glad we could do that for you, girl. I'm glad we can calm your anxiety. I don't know how. <laughs> hey Irene. I'm glad we could help you. I wish I had somebody to calm me down, rub my head, and say, Jamie, it's going to be okay. But I don't. Show sure, Jamie your text I just sent you. My hair up and down. It's about three inches past my shoulders now. It's not the best photo, but was telling Jamie. Okay, hold on. I'll call it up. Do you guys ever get heartburn? Oh, yeah, damn. I do. Ric Flair in his prime versus Seth Rollins. Who you got? Look. Seth Rollins is pretty damn good. Jimmy Jam's hair. Look at you. It's all the way down there. <laughs> Jimmy Jam. But it's curly. Wow, yeah. I was going to say. Jimmy Jam looking like he's about to light a candle. <laughs> he's about to light a candle. Come on, baby. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> who do I got? Ric Flair or Seth Rollins? Both in their prime? Well, Ric Flair. Uh, how did... <laughs> Ric Flair is more believable. As good as Seth Rollins is, and he's great, um, there's something about the new generation, the, this generation that we got going on where they're not 100% believable. Still, as good as an athletic as they are, 
there are still certain <laughs> things, whether it's a promo or the way they move um, in the ring going into a spot that is not 100% believable. Ric Flair, everything looked real. Yes, there's botches out there, but for the most part, everything looked real. Because they called it in the ring back in the day. The art of wrestling. Some guys still do it, but not a lot. Not a lot. Call me the bearded Maui from Moana. Moana. Mo what is Moana? Moana is a Disney movie. And yes, he does look like Maui. <laughs> Timmy Jam, you look, Timmy Jam, you look he like... He does look like Maui. <laughs> you, look, you look like you just brushed your hair and you're about ready to light a candle. What's he eating while well, he was having chili dogs with coleslaw? But he's done. He's not eating no more. No, I bit into something crunchy. And it kind of killed my appetite. Mm -hmm. But, you know, also, I told you in the very beginning of the stream I wasn't very hungry oh. because of how much pain my ankles are in. Like, going up and down these stairs when we're done breaking down is going to suck. Be quiet. What's up? Do you think it was the cat? It might have been John. But... It, and it probably was. But you know what I'm talking about. You yeah. bite into something that you're not expecting. Like, I, I had, had what, three other hot dogs and it didn't do that? Jamie, yeah. will you choose The Rock over all of your childhood memories of WWF wrestlers? Meaning my favorite, Aaron? Rock's not my favorite wrestler. Never was my favorite wrestler. The Rock. What about him? Oh, I thought you said Brock. <laughs> did, did they say Rock or Brock? Rock. Rock. I love The Rock, but not because of his wrestling. Hello, Melissa. I, 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 lo I, love, I love The Rock because of everything he's done outside of wrestling. Um, the Rock as a wrestler never was one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, no. Nope. I love him, don't get me wrong. I've always liked him, but he was never one of my favorites. These days, I would, I'm very happy and proud to say I'm, like, I'm a Bret Hart guy. <laughs> I'm a Brian Pillman guy. I'm a, you know... Um, uh, but not for wrestling, yeah. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Probably Macho Man. My, I have like a a five count. I think you go as up to ten guys because my mind's always changing. It all depends on who I'm watching. And this last like six six something months, maybe a year, it's been all Bret Hart, all Hart Foundation stuff. Hello, Shirley. How are you, girl? Tom, those were some bread hot dogs. Yeah, tail end of it. Yeah, we're about done. Yeah. But it's all good. Thank you for, like, stopping in. Hello, Melissa. You need a microphone, my guy. Oh, I have one. I have a microphone. It's about seven feet away from me. Yep. <laughs> Kaki, would you mind getting me the microphone? Do you really need it? Yeah, I gotta show it off. I would do it, but it's much easier for you to do it. No, of course not. Right by the door. I know, I see it. Do you think they pushed Stone Cold pretty good back in the 90s? Uh, I think everything that happened with Stone Cold worked out perfect. Besides him hugging Vince McMahon. <laughs> you smell what The Rock is cooking? I used to have this at the table all the time when I used to sing Happy Birthday to everybody. And then that stopped. Because nobody said it was their birthday anymore. Yeah, people stopped saying it was the birthday. I, I, it became a tradition. That was like a thing. Well, What's you know what birthday? happened? Here's sing the truth. Sing me happy birthday. Jamie, sing me happy birthday. Sure, sure, sure. And then Kaki started getting jealous, and then she had to try to chime in. No. And then I was like, oh my god, I asked Jamie to sing it. I'll get Kaki singing. Yeah, you got, you know, the better person, but I'm like... <laughs> Are you ready for bed? Yes. Right. You sang to me. I loved it. There you go, Shannon. Yeah, it was. Um, I. I and don't <laughs> get me wrong. I still do it. I bet you we get a happy birthday request tomorrow. Probably. Mm, Mark does Thunder Buddy with a teddy bear in his phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. To Probably bed. is. Guys, we'll see you it. tomorrow night for pizza. Shawn Michaels versus The Rock. Who you got? And a storyline? Well, that match never happened. But but if you had a pick, who would you pick? It's hard to say. Good night, guys. It's hard to say. Shawn Michaels is the greatest in-ring wrestler of all time. There's no, there's nobody even comparing. There's no, they're not even close. 
So. So I think that's his answer. Yeah. Good night, guys. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.